Hello, we are back with a course on digital payment and this time it's about electronic toll collection. Have you ever wondered what happens once you cross the toll plaza and the money gets debited automatically? Who is an issuer in that transaction or who is an acquirer in that transaction and what is the role of a payment switch? How does this electronic toll collection happen? How does your prepaid account or your bank account gets debited? What happens if you don't pay for your toll plaza fee and you just cross it? What kind of penalty can be imposed? What are privacy debates around electronic toll collection? Have you ever wondered that how does you just paste a sticker or put a transponder into your vehicle and the money gets debited automatically? And why RFI? ID is the most chosen choice for electronic toll collection over QR code or say the barcode. We will talk about these issues and we will try to find out the answers of these questions in this digital payment course on electronic toll collection. We will also talk about case in point National Electronic Toll Collection Program Operations of India. We will pick up that case and understand how does the transaction flow happens in the NETC or which has a product called FAST tag in India. So that will help you to understand how does the backend transaction flow happens in case of an RFID sticker based transaction. So I'm so much excited to see you inside the course. But before that, just want to declare one thing that we have used a lot of, I would say, text and the presentation format in this course because we strongly believe that a lot of text helps you to revise the course content. So we have used lesser of images and animations in this course. Not in this course, in almost all our courses says we have used a lesser of animation and images and a lot of text and a lot of presentation format so that it is easier for you to take a screenshot and share that within your network or you can use it for your own course or for your own understanding or for say your assignments or to explain it to someone so that is a flexibility I want to provide that you can just take a screenshot and use it as you want it to use second this course is not about API integration is not about the technical aspect of it is more of a business oriented course and a bit of the backend transaction flow so that even a non-technical person will be able to understand what is electronic toll collection in digital payments and how does a transaction happens at the back. In this course, we have also talked about how big is the electronic toll collection market and why it is poised to growth in the years to come. Many countries will wake up and will adopt this electronic toll collection. However, there are privacy debates around this system as well. We will talk about what are those privacy debates and how to uh, handle those things and why such kind of debates happen around this electronic toll collection because I will just keep on reiterating the fact that technology is just a tool actually it makes sense whenever you have a governance whenever you have a system whenever you have a sound logic around it. if you are just using technology as a solution then you will always find that uh, it will lead to the kiosk and the havoc into the system so I'm so much excited to see you inside this new course on digital payments electronic toll collection thank you so much and see you inside the course.